What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be seeing what happens when you put a foreign disk in a PC. And as you can see, I got a uh, Windows PC right here, ThinkPad W530, in case you're wondering. I also got a big stack of games we're going to try. And I also got my keyboard here. Make sure to check it out if you want one. It's a nice good mechanical keyboard I've been using for a while by Aki. Got some cool light-up features and it works well. But let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we're just going to make a P make sure PC games work. So backyard football, as usual. You hear it turning up. Not sure why my camera is doing that. Now you can hear it. Whoa. All right, and there it is. Football, football, excuse me. And there you go. So I know it works. All right, so let's go on the next one. All right, so bye bye backyard football. Next up, we're gonna start with Xbox games. All right, so Battleborn, Xbox One. Let's see what happens. It's making some kind of weird noises down here. Nothing's coming up. I don't know what is going on with my focus, but it is being terrible right now. All right, so nothing happened. Just making some weird noises in my uh, disk drive, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Let's put that one off to the side, and on to the next one: Xbox 360, Just Cause 2. Let's see if we can make some magic here. Now I really thought. Xbox, Microsoft, PC, they all go together. My Xbox game should work on my PC, right? I mean, come on, it makes makes sense. Oh shoot, something popped up. All right, there we go. All right, let me try to get this yellow thing off my screen. It's getting really annoying. All right, and so it gives me some configuration settings, system update, basically a bunch of files I can't use. All right, well, at least it gave me something. Not really sure what any of those files meant, but uh, yeah. All right, so next up, Tony Hawk's Underground for the Xbox. Let's see if we can play this one. Hmm. All right, so Tony Hawk. pops up again same kind of thing these random files that I cannot use I don't even want to click on those this is basically some I guess it's some kind of files that's in the game that the PC recognizes I don't know what the files are used for if it's some kind of media file I don't know but I'm not gonna find out because I don't know I don't want to open them all right, so next up, PS1, Crash Bash, as usual. All these games are Crash Bash. All right, this one's popping up too. All right. There we go again. Random files. Crash Bash.dat. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, so next up, PS2 game, GTA 3. Maybe I can play some GTA 3 on my PS, on my uh, PC. All right. There it is. Okay, audio. What in the world? I don't know what a VB file is. Uh, it's kind of cool though. It's giving me some files. Maybe someone else that knows what these files are or how to use them. So we can uh, do something, but I don't know what any of these files are, so I'm not going to touch them. Now let's try Call of Duty Ghost. So I'll just skip that one. Let's just go straight to Fallout 4. 
PS4 and PS3 both have Blu-ray discs, so they should have pretty similar effects. So let's just let's check it out. It keeps closing out my file explorer, so I keep holding my thing down here. All right. It's not sounding good. All right. So let's get rid of that. Maybe if I had a Blu-ray disc drive. It would come up with the same files or same sort of files as it was doing for those other games. I don't know. Kind of interesting. PC can read so many different file formats and everything. So who knows? Sonic Riders. So this one should be interesting. Little tiny disc. What should we expect? Hmm. I'm gonna predict that it reads some files and then. Or it's not gonna read anything. Yeah, it didn't do anything. All right then. <laughs> so much for that. Bye bye GameCube game. Next up, got Mario Kart for the Wii. Maybe uh, Nintendo and Windows 10 have a thing going together. I don't know. Let's hope so. Or not. It just stopped real quick. That's kind of interesting. I guess so. It's these Nintendo games, the PC doesn't even try to recognize them. So I guess there's some kind of encryption on there that says, don't even try to play me. But the PlayStation and Xbox games, it was actually able to read some files that were on there. That's kind of cool. Alright, the Wii U game is doing something right now, so maybe... Get some good luck. Oh no, that sounds bad. I'm taking it out. Get out of there. Alright, so. Now look with Nintendo. Let's put these away. Batman Begins, Blu ray disc. Alright. So we tried a Blu ray game, but we haven't tried a Blu ray movie. Let's see. Help this Blu-ray. These Blu-ray discs don't like uh, mess up my laser in my disc drive. All right, yeah, it sounds like it's doing something weird, so I'm taking that out. By the way, if you haven't seen any of the Batman movies, watch them. They're pretty good. All right, so hidden and dangerous Sega Dreamcast. Let's see. Let's see if we can get to go down. I feel like Sega Dreamcast has some associations with PC, so maybe it'll read some cool files. I don't know. Let's see. All right, down here. Can I scroll down there? There we go. What we got here? All right, so abstract.txt. All right, it wants to read the copyright. Copyright.txt. Read it. Okay. I'll save this up here for a second if you want to pause the video and read this. Cool. Alright, what's the other one? Abstract. Okay. Nope, don't want to see that. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Warning. It's open. Uh, no. I'll pass. I'll pass in the warning. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I, I do remember on other consoles when I tried Dream Sega Dreamcast game it actually read a media file like do not play this disc on this console or something but I'm kinda surprised it didn't do it here alright so it's Iron Man this is not actually a Blu-ray it's actually a DVD I know it says Blu-ray in the case but it's it's not it's a DVD let me pull up my file explorer again it keeps disappearing alright so will it read it Let's watch some movies. Here we go. There it is. Nice. Pulls up real quick. Watch it immediately. Nice. Unlike the dang Wii U and Wii, can't even play DVDs. So sad. Nintendo Switch definitely can't because it's cartridges. I don't know what it is with Nintendo and and uh, movies. They just don't like them. So you guys know how it goes. 
we have some surprises. So first up, Buzz Lightyear, Game Boy Color game. Let's try it out. All right, anything? And that's a no. All right, so no luck for Game Boy Color. All right, next up, a Nintendo game. All-Star Baseball 99. I'll just try to slide in right here. Why is it so dark? Come on. There we go. Uh, All right, that didn't work. Now, if you remember from the disc, the discs, uh, Nintendo does not like my PC, so I'll just skip on the few Nintendo games. But let's try this last one right here. Zelda Breath of the Wild Nintendo Switch. Better work. I'll be hype. So you got a little slot down here. That's not gonna fit there. I actually have a slot over here. I think. No, I don't. Let me take out this port right here. There it goes. Fits right in there. You see that? Anything? If I can get it to focus. Nothing. Well, that sucks. If I can get this out of here now. So sad, as usual. Not making the good things work. Come on, Windows, you're slacking. Maybe I should try to Mac next and see if the Mac will read any of these things. Now, last but not least, you guys know I gotta do some money. Make it focus first, though. $20 bill. PC deserves it. Take my money. Take my money. There we go. Ooh. Well, it tried to take my money, but I'm not letting it. It just made a weird noise. So, I'll pass on that. No money for you, PC. Sorry. Alright, guys. So, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And, hope you have a great day.